Hey guys, it's me, Colin, and today we're going to be making a really fun edible slime recipe. We saw this on Pinterest, so I've been really hoping to do this. So, let's get started. The ingredients you're going to need are metamucil, which is pretty much fiber, and then different, like, flavors of Kool-Aid, because it'll make you different colors, and then some hot water. We're making four different colors, so we're going to have a separate bowl for each color. Based on how many colors you have, you'll have different bowls. So you have your Metamucil, and you have your tablespoon, and you put one tablespoon of Metamucil in each bowl. This stuff does not smell good. It smells kind of like oatmeal, and it's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of like oatmeal, but it's like burnt it smells like kind of I don't know it's, it's really weird and now I have to eat it put one cup of hot water in each bowl and stir Now stir it around. It kind of clumps up. Now put in half a packet of your Kool-Aid. This one's our lemon. Strong. Then stir. Here is our lemon. Now let's take our orange and do the same thing. Here is the orange. Now let's do our chocolate berry thin. Now stir it up. Oh, that's already starting to firm up. Here is the pink. And this one is already kind of getting goopy. Now our last one, cherry. I love the smell of cherry like that. Here's what the red one looks like. So we, here's what they look like after they're all done. And they look pretty good right now. Now you put these in the microwave until they boil, well until they start bubbling. And then after they start bubbling, you let them bubble, that you let them boil for one more minute. And then you take them out and stir them. And then put them back in for two more minutes. Then put them in the refrigerator to cool down, but we're gonna put them in the freezer to go faster. Hopefully this turns out good. Watch out because these bowls can get really hot. So you might wanna have a parent help you taking them out and putting them in the refrigerator. They're all done and they're cooling in the freezer. They just came out of the freezer and here's what they look like. Here's our orange, our huckleberry thin, our cherry, and our lemon. I'm really excited to see if these worked, so let's try the pink one first. So far it looks good. Oh, it's got like this coating or stuff around it. Oh, that definitely worked. Oh, this is a great slime. Oh, this is this is a lot better actually than you get the stuff in the stores. Wow. It's pretty easy to make. Now, let's try our red.
Yep, it works. Be careful though with this because it kind of gets the color on, dyes your hands a little bit. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the smell. It kind of smells like burnt Kool-Aid. Well, you are boiling the Kool-Aid, so it's kind of like burnt Kool-Aid smell. It's, it's, you'd have to smell it. It's kind of weird. Let's see how the orange did. Ooh, that's a little bit more goopy. It's, I got in my hand more. Oh, that's a lot more. It's like we put too much water in this one. It's more slimy, though. It's definitely a lot more slimy. This is fun. We put too much water in the orange one, so it got too liquidy, and now my hands are dyed orange. Now let's try the yellow one. It looks like snot. There it is. Whoa. We put too much water in this one also, probably. Ugh. This one you can still see like, oh. The Metamucil in it. This one is actually a bit more slimy than the other one, the orange one. So, like I said, don't put too much water in it, or otherwise it gets like this. Very goopy. The others weren't like this, but just be careful. This is an edible slime recipe. So to show that it's edible, I'm going to be trying to eat it. But... You should probably not do that. Like, not eat, like, all this slime. Just, like, try a little bite if you want to know what it tastes like. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be trying the cherry. Oh, I'm just going to eat this. Oh. Now let's go. Down the hatch. Oh. Okay. I def definitely recommend, if you don't like slimy things, do not eat that. And I do not like slimy things. Oh, that was pretty bad. It's like if you had a fish just go down your throat. Ugh. There's no taste to it, but it's got a smell to it. Now let's make a giant ball of all of them, of slime. So let's take our pink and put it in. Now let's take our red and put that in. Here's our orange. And try to get as much as we can. And the yellow. Here's what it looks like after we mixed it all together. And look what happened to my hands. So, like I said, very careful because it dyes your hands. So you might actually want to put gloves on maybe if you want to, if you don't want to get your hands dyed. And I think this recipe was really fun for edible slime, but don't probably eat it if you don't like slimy things. And don't eat that much of it. And be careful of the water if you don't if you put too much in because like with our yellow it's too slimy well that's all for today i hope you like this really gross video see you later bye